Good evening. First tonight, charities in Devon say the council would be putting lives at risk if it goes ahead with plans to withdraw funding for its homelessness prevention scheme. Organisations that support rough sleepers in the county are against plans to cut £1.5 million from the budget. At a meeting today, Devon County Council deferred a number of funding decisions to a later date. Richard Lawrence reports. Uncertainty remains for campaign groups who packed a meeting at County Hall. They included residents fighting to save Tynmouth Community Hospital and a group hoping to save the North Devon Link Centres under threat of closure that help provide support services for people with mental health issues. Please treat us with respect and dignity. It's very clear that uh, the financial panic among the uh, cabinet is not a good way of making decisions um, and that they have to actually weigh the, the facts and the information because uh, short-term cuts that cause long-term damage is no way to balance any books. They were sat alongside organisations fearful of losing one and a half million pounds of the Homeless Prevention Fund. It's helped organisations like the YMCA. At their centre in St David's, they provide accommodation for young people who would otherwise be homeless, like Corey Hawkins, a chef from Exmouth who struggled with his mental health but feels he's on the way to getting back to work. If YM wasn't here to to provide the, the services that they do, some people would still be on the streets and like we've cold weathers and stuff like that and no food, like people will won't survive. So yeah, it's, it's it is a lifesaver in my eyes. Jonathan Taylor is a member of staff here who was saved from becoming homeless six years ago. About the YMCA, I would, I would really be in a, in a in a situation that I wouldn't be able to get out of. Yeah. So without the YMCA, I wouldn't wouldn't be where I am now. A dark place, you think? Yeah, definitely, yeah. It's, it's, it's been difficult. It really has over the years, but definitely finding my feet. One of the centre's original founding supporters now works as a volunteer here. You know, the poverty situations are perhaps more extreme now than they were, what, 30 or so years ago. So I think there's been a change. Yeah. Well, in a sense, the County Council is no further forward, but there was real frustration in the room among the members that they felt that they hadn't got enough information from the consultations to take an informed decision as the scrutiny committee. In a statement, Councillor James McKinnis said, these are challenging times and I do not underestimate the impact of these proposals. We have a duty to deliver the best value out of every pound to make sure services are as effective as possible and that they are services people want to use. Never has that been more important than now. Charities like the YMCA say the message couldn't be more clear. It was, don't do this. People are going to suffer and it's not going to save any money at all. It's actually going to cost us much, much more. You know, and that's not just us saying that. National organisations have come forward. Crisis, shelter, homeless link, the big issue. The National Housing Federation, they're all saying to Devon, don't do this. But everyone is well aware that painful decisions lie ahead for a council that will really struggle to balance its books. Richard Lawrence, ITV News. A 16-year-old.